Hi everyone, Tim Brown. Welcome back to my Apple Podcast, the podcast that makes personal connection to everything Apple. For this episode, I want to feature Google Photos for iOS. Google Photos for iOS right now is arguably the best photo application available for iOS for many reasons, but mainly because it's like five applications in one. It enables you to do so many things, including creating slideshows and movies, as well as organizing your photos. Pretty awesome. Let's take a look. So here is a screenshot of the Photos app. And you can see here my photos are neatly arranged in a column. This is called the Comfortable View. When you select the dots in the top right corner, you see that you can also view your photos by day, by month, and by year and as you're scrolling through too you'll see that there's a little handle on the right hand side that enables you to scroll through your photos a lot quicker and by default you're viewing the comfortable view pretty awesome now let's see what else we can do with photos so I'm gonna go through and find a photo that I can work with I'm gonna tap on this little collage that I created and you can see I have a menu of options below of course, you can share a photo right inside the Photos app. You can edit any photo, and these are basic controls for editing your photo or making adjustments and so forth, but really all you need. Check it out. So here is the auto mode, and really that auto mode really did a great job in improving that photo. I probably don't even really need to do anything else, but let me just show you some of the other features. There's also light where you can control the lightness and darkness of your photo. You can control the color, which is basically the saturation of the photo. You can also make it pop, which is basically adding some clarity and or detail to your photo. And you have the option to add a vignette. Click Save. And you're good to go. So it's nice to have those features built in as well. In addition to that, you can create albums, movies, stories, animations, and collages. That's right, you can do all of this right inside the app. So let's explore each feature. So let's start with creating an album. When you press on that option, you go to your photo library and you basically scroll through until you find the photos that you want to create an album for. So I'm just going to scroll through my library here until I find something. Okay, I had some drawings that I created a long time ago, and I've been wanting to organize these. So I'm just going to go through and select a group of these that I'm going to compile into an album. Okay, that's good enough for now. I'm going to click Done. And it's now going to open up a whole new album section. I can give my album a name. I'm just going to call it Drawings. Click Done. And now I have a nice little album set up. Really that easy. Now there's also an album section which I'm going to show you very quickly. So if I swipe to the right here, you see here's where all my albums are. And you can see the drawings album that I just set up down below. With the Google Photos app, you can also create movies with your photos. That's right. So with the movie option, I'm going to go ahead and create new movies and then find me a group of photos that I can use to create a nice video with. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down a bit here and see if I can find me an event that's worth celebrating. Here's a great trip that I took to Chattanooga. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab a group of photos from there and create me a nice little slideshow. So click create in the top right corner and you have to wait a few moments while Google processes all of your photos. And once it gathers all of the information together, then you'll see all of them come on screen. And then you'll have an option to then go through and make different adjustments, which I'm going to show you in one second. OK, so the whole thing has been processed now. I can actually play it now as a straightforward slideshow in a kind of Ken Burns sort of way. But, you know, I can do a lot more with this slideshow if I want. For example, I can choose the photo icon in the bottom left corner. And those icons down below basically represent themes. As you can see in the top left corner, it tells you that these are themes that you can choose from. So you can go through and choose modern, punk, showtime, silver screen, outdoors, which was selected by default for me. 
but I can choose other options such as documentary, extreme, glamour. Now glamour is a pretty cool option. I kind of like how the photos are coming in like that. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit the check, check mark and select glamour. But you have more options as well. Check this out. You can also add music to your photo slideshow, which is really cool. And you have a range of options. You have a dramatic. So you can scroll through all the songs that fall in the dramatic. You can choose electronic, reflective, rocking, and upbeat. And upbeat was selected by default for me. Locally sourced. I'm going to choose dramatic and just choose galactic damages. And then I'm going to hit the check mark. And it processes my movie for me. And then in the bottom right, you can go through and check all of the photos that you have in your slideshow and you can move them around in case you in case you want to reorder them pretty cool now I have a really nice video slideshow of the photos I just created right inside the photos app really awesome there's nothing like it it's the best app out at least right now as far as I can tell you can check mark when you're done And then you can click the save icon in the top right corner to save your movie. You can see it processes rather quickly. I can save this video to my library or I can post it to social media networks like Google Plus, Tumblr and so forth, Dropbox, or I can just go ahead and just save it right to my library. So in addition to creating new albums and movies, you can create stories. Now this is another feature that I really like. So check it out. I'm going to select the story option and again I'm prompted to go through the, my library of photos. So I'm going to scroll through and find something that I think would make a pretty good story. So here is um, another group of photos related to a Native American event that was pretty nice. It was about a couple years ago. I'm going to go ahead and just select some of the photos from that event and I'm going to click create. And we're going to wait a few moments and let Google process this information. And then I'm going to have a story created just for me from those photos. It even already has a title. Of course, I can select the pencil icon if I want to modify that title. But I'm going to leave it like that for now because I was in Montgomery and it was in the afternoon. So what the heck, I'm going to go for it. Google's pretty smart. Seems to know exactly what I want. You can start by either swiping from left to right or right to left or just start by selecting that arrow at the bottom. Select that arrow, you can then go through and swipe through your story. And of course, you can add descriptions to each one if you want to enhance the story as it flows. And I'm just using my finger and swiping through. And everything is sort of flowing along a timeline as if you're swiping through animated pages. Just absolutely amazing. And when you go to share this story, it's actually saved in the cloud. So people will be able to browse this story right in a browser. Absolutely amazing. Just phenomenal. Yes, you can do all of this right inside the Photos app that Google offers for iOS. Absolutely amazing. And I'm not done. I'm going to go back to Plus, And now I'm going to create an animation. Now, animation basically is a way to create an animated GIF. And now that I know this feature's in here, I actually set up things ahead of time in anticipation of creating an animated GIF that's built into Google Photos for iOS. So let's go ahead and choose animation. And I actually set up some photos or a series of photos that I created using a collage app that I used to create a sequence of images. So basically I created a collage, but I took screenshots of each phase of the development, mainly with this sort of animation in mind. So I'm going to create an animated GIF right inside Google Photos. I'm going to click Create. Again, give it a few moments to process. And as you can see, the images are coming in one by one as I set them up to progress. So each individual element is added in each sequence until the, uh, the collage is completed. And so this right now is an animated GIF. And you know normally when I create animated GIFs I post them to Tw Tumblr. So I have that option. Of course Google Plus is an option. But now Twitter's playing uh, anima playing animated GIFs as well so I can post this thing right to Twitter if I want it. 
or save it to my library. Pretty incredible that you can do all these things right inside the Photos app. Now you would normally need four or five different applications to be able to do these things. I mean, it's pretty remarkable. Now I'm gonna click the plus symbol once again. And yes, I have one more option. I can also create a collage with Google Photos for iOS. So once again, I'm prompted with the photo library option and I can scroll through and find photos that I wanna create for my collage. In this case, I'm going to scroll through and maybe find an event or something that's worth celebrating in the form of a collage. Like this great event I attended that featured Stephen Rolf Powell, the, 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 the uh, glass blowing artist. I'm going to go ahead and just select, select some photos of this event. Click Create. And let's see what kind of collage I get from those photos. Wow, beautifully displayed. Very smart and intelligent. It's like there's so much technology that's built into this that they just know how to be able to present your photos in such a, a beautiful and elegant way. It's just really, really nice. I mean, this is a collage that's worth sharing. I mean, I'm ready to share this baby right now. Awesome. All these features built right in. Of course, I can go in and change the metadata for this photo. I can go in and edit and then use some of the same enhanced features that come with the photo editor that was built in that I just showed you. And I can share it, of course. Great. So inside Google Photos for iOS, I have the option to create albums, movies, stories, animations, and collages. You really can't beat it. Of course, you have to really love the UI for this application as well. You can swipe from right to left or left to right to navigate the different sections. And here, of course, is, are the uh, albums that I have set up. And the albums, of course, give you a beautiful way of viewing them and, and browsing through them. Swipe back from right to left and back to photos. Now, here's a real cool feature that you're absolutely going to love. You can also, when you swipe again, you get to a section that's called Assistant. And Assistant basically gives options for you basically it tells you what is available that it will create animations movies slideshows stories automatically and they're not actually there they're sort of like recommendations for example here it says new animation on the right hand side here and i can choose to create an animation by just clicking save to my library but you know, if i don't want it i can just take it and just sort of swipe it away Google will continue to offer all these suggestions based on how it's recognizing the media in your library. So, for example, it's recognizing that I have a story here for Stephen Rolf Powell event, the one that was where I created this beautiful uh, collage. So if I wanted to create a story, I could do that. So I just tapped on it, and here I can look at the story of the Stephen Rolf Powell event, see how that would look. Pretty crazy. And so that's what the assistant does basically, is it assists you with ideas for creating stories, animations. It will even make rec recommendations for how to stylize your photos in the case of this one here, which was originally in color, but now it's in black and white. It also make recommendations for collages already there for me if I want it. It will even create a panorama if it recognizes photos that can be stitched together. In this case, these are photos that were stitched from images I took when I was in Arizona at the Grand Canyon. So this is fantastic. that You can do all of this with a Photos app. So Google, once again, hit a home run. Great feature to have if you have an iPad made also for the iPhone. And it's free. Um, all you need to do is have a Google account and be able to access Google Drive. And, and there you have it. I mean, I have 15 gigabytes of space available through my Google Drive account, so I'm not concerned about space in the least bit. And yet, I can do all of these cool things. That is Google Photos for iOS. My name is Tim Brown. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Myable Podcast. Check me out next time.